What's going on guys, CryptoHoy here with another quick update on Love Hate Inu. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, um, but I've been busy at work and uh, I've, I'm also working on a new project, which by the way has nothing to do with crypto. Um, I might uh, reveal it, who knows, in the future about what the project is, but let's focus here on Love Hate Inu. There are basically two main things that has, uh, two events that has uh, that is currently happening and one that has occurred with Love Hate Inu. The first one is right here. It's uh, they're on their final stage. They're pretty much selling out right now. There's four days left. And we can see here that uh, on their uh, stage uh, price, their phases, they're already pretty much on the last one. And it's, it's looking like it's going to be launched sometime later, uh, sometime this month. It's already May 1st, guys, which is crazy already. We're almost halfway through this year. This year is just going really, really fast. It's just flying by. All right. Now, the second update that I want to kind of get into is a little bit more. It's going to be on this right here, which is uh, anonymous. Uh, they posted this on Facebook and i just find this to be very interesting and i'm going to share my thoughts about what i think what's going on but first let's start off here let's go back here to the final stage so like i mentioned earlier they're already on their last uh on their last uh stage and it's, it says here that the uh stage end date is on uh, may 14th of this year but we see here they're actually doing it sooner so it's going to end in, in about four days so on may 5th it looks like it's going to be ending and so uh I think they, they might be launching uh, pretty much sooner. So they're like, you know, ahead of time, which is good, you know, for anybody who's holding or investing on this project. And one thing I also, what they're doing as well, sorry, is that vote for a chance to win $10,000. And it's just a simple vote here. Uh, and they're only gonna choose just one winner. And you get to just uh, choose between love, hate, Trump. You could choose, uh, you get to choose either to vote for love or hate. And well, let's say that whichever one you choose, uh, let's say if I choose that one, um, then you could just get to put in your email. And I guess they're going to notify you, I guess, through email and, you know, if you're a winner or not. And like it says here, entry fee is, is free and one lucky voter will walk away with $10,000, uh, most likely worth of love, hate, Inu token all right they're not going to give you actual uh, fiat money but anyways that's pretty much what's going on on their uh on their on their side sorry on love hate inu but now let's focus here on the anonymous okay so this is what they wrote a few hours ago uh less than 24 hours they said did you know a crypto investor bought about eight thousand dollars worth of shiba inu coins in august 2020 just over a year later the eight thousand dollars trade has morphed into a value of 5.7 billion dollars could love hate inu be the next big thing in my opinion this is not really a fair comparison why because love hate inu the difference between love hate inu and shiba inu is this we can see that uh you know and i even covered this on previous videos as well but uh shiba inu didn't have a pre-sale with eight stages okay like we see here with uh with love hate you know look at all these stages okay i had eight stages look at all these different phases buckets of price of money all right for the token uh shiba inu didn't have this it says here on august 1st 2020 shiba inu is born one quadrillion a thousand trillion tokens are minted all right they were all minted and there was no pre-sale you were just free to buy all right and we were to also look let's say if we were to uh, look at the chart here it's completely flat okay for the majority of august september october november december january February, like all the way over here until 2021 of uh april of 2021 that's when we started to get a little bit of a bump price and started to gain momentum um but again it was all completely flat it wasn't until months later that it started to gain momentum all right and to actually um uh spike up and then of course it dropped and then it spiked up way more again in the future and if we were to compare the price to where it was before in 2020 uh we see here and compare it with 2023 uh we see here that in 2020 there's like eight zeros or nine or almost ten zeros it looks like okay there's so many zeros like my eyes for some reason like i get like confused with all these zeros to count but right here uh we see that there's only like eight zeros all right so that's a huge difference it's like double the amount or more of zeros so it's a you know it's it's on a positive compared to its launch all right now if we were to compare it to uh let's say with tomadodge we see here that it's a completely opposite 
uh, charts. Okay, we see that there's a bump in the beginning, and then it has the price has uh, dramatically fallen. You know, it's pretty much low. Lately, though, there have uh, there there has been a bump. Okay, a nice bump on the price. Uh, but that's very, very small compared to what it first was when it first launched, where uh, Shiba Inu is completely opposite. OK, there was no uh, pump in the beginning. It didn't occur until later on. And the price has obviously has fallen over here, but it is way much better. There's only four zeros after the dots, after the points, the period compared to where it was at launch. OK, it's a huge improvement you know, overall, um, you know, uh, in spite of having a huge, uh, you know, uh, pump over here in the middle of the way so far. So comparing Shiba Inu with uh, uh, Love Hates Inu is not really a fair comparison because like I said before, Shiba Inu didn't have stages like uh, Love Hates Inu uh, has stages for pre-sales, okay? And similarly, this is what happened also with Tama Dodge, okay. So Tama Dodge had, you know, those stages as well. And actually, a lot of these uh, meme tokens they have those uh, stages and you know different prices, buckets of prices. So that's why I don't think it's, you know, it's I don't think it's gonna happen like uh, Shiba Inu. Now, uh, what is going on here? Um, I think, okay, um, I don't think that Anonymous and Love Hate Inu has, you know, spoken and given a handshake and say, hey, let's do marketing or something like that. I mean, it could be, but I don't think that is the case um, because if in case you guys don't know anonymous right here, they are also like a journalism because when you go here to the website, you get to this is their uh, homepage and they pretty much cover like different stories. They have uh, articles, right? And if you scroll the way down, we see here that they offer also exclusive content for a, you know, you can subscribe for a low price. and. They have like some other uh, news articles that you get to have access to. Um, but if they were going to do like marketing, uh, let's say with uh, Love Hate Inu with an Anonymous, then they would have created another article here uh, talking just about that project. So that's why I don't think it's it's marketing. I don't think Anonymous have received any payment from Love Hate Inu, but who knows? I could be wrong, right? Um, but it just wouldn't make sense because they would have done way more. Anonymous would have done more than just a simple post. They would have actually written an article like we see here with other ones. OK, we see Crypto News. They write articles about Love Hate Inu. Uh, we have Yahoo. We have BTCC Exchange and there's like so many other ones. Uh, and if you click on them, sometimes it'll mention there that it was a paid article or something like that um, and stuff. You know, it'll mention it uh, there sometimes. Not all of them do. But yeah, so that's how we know that it was uh, it wasn't the crypto news that, you know, they wanted. They wrote the article is pretty much already pre-made by the marketing team of, you know, whatever token or, or whoever it is. Um, but yeah, so that's why um, I don't think it's um, to be honest, I don't think it's a, it's a big deal. And um, it will be crazy now. Here's another thought, okay? Another thought is it will be crazy if, you know, what is Anonymous trying to tell us? Are they trying to tell us something that, you know, Anonymous is also known for being hackers, okay? Uh, you know, that's their symbol, all right? So they, they are known as Anonymous for being hackers. But this Anonymous right here, is, it seems more of a journalism type of, uh, uh, you know, page or website like we saw earlier right here. Um, so they tend to just cover stories and stuff like that. But um, it will be just very ironic that, you know, because there's some people thinking that perhaps maybe Anonymous was hacked. They, they were not doing, you know, they didn't write this. Somebody hacked into Anonymous, into their Facebook, and they wrote this. I don't think that's that is the case as well. Um, I'm very interested to see what you guys think about this. If you guys can share your thoughts, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you guys think is happening right here? Uh, this is pretty much the update for this uh, for Love Hate Inu. Um, I, again, comparing it with Shiba Inu is not really uh, the same thing simply because Shiba Inu didn't have none of this. OK, they, it was just a straight launch. And yeah, that was pretty much it with Shiba Inu and just let the market dictate itself and work itself out out there in the market with no pre-sales or stages. But yeah. All right, guys, that's pretty much for the update for today. Thank you so much for watching and check out my other videos and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.